Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about diphtheria. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture, or you can directly visit to my channel, my student support system. What is diphtheria? Diphtheria is an acute childhood infectious disease which is caused by toxinogenic strain of Cornibacterium diphtheriae. Diphtheria particularly affects children mainly aged of 1 to 5 years but sometimes it may also affect children up to 15 years. What is causative agent of diphtheria? Diphtheria is a bacterial disease and the bacteria which causes diphtheria is Cornibacterium diphtheriae. It is a gram positive bacteria and four types of diphtheria bacillus or strains are differentiated. These are Gravis, Mitis, Belfenti and Intermedius. All are pathogenic to human beings. How it spreads? The source of infection may be a case or carrier. What is case? Case is a patient. The child who is suffering from diphtheria is a case and he may spread infection. Sometimes the case may be clinical or subclinical. Clinical means the child is showing symptoms. That is clinical case and the a child is not uh, showing any symptom but he is suffering from uh, diphtheria, then he is subclinical case. But they both can spread infection. And sometimes a mild case where the child may be having uh, simple symptoms like running nose and sore throat, they can also spread infection. And carrier. What is carrier? Carrier is the child contains this bacteria but he is not suffering from diphtheria. He is not a subclinical case or not a clinical case. Just carrying the bacteria so they are known as carriers. This is a most uh, we can say dangerous situation because no one can identify that the child is carrier and he can spread infection. Uh, their ratio is estimated to be 95 carriers for 5 clinical cases. This is the scenario of case and carrier. Mode of transmission is droplet infection, direct contact and indirect contact. Unless treated, the period of infectivity may vary from 14 days to 28 days from the onset of disease. But carriers remain infective for longer period. Till they are carriers, they may spread infection. What is incubation period? The incubation period is short. And the disease which have short incubation period are more dangerous because they spread rapidly. Here diphtheria have only 2 to 6 days incubation period. Sometimes it may be longer. What are the signs and symptoms of Diphtheria. Diphtheria may affect nasal, pharyngeal or laryngeal mucosa. The patient usually have sore throat, difficulty in swallowing, low grade fever, throat may show mild erythema, localized exudate or a pseudomembrane. Here you can see this is a pseudomembrane. The pseudomembrane may be a patch on the posterior pharynx or tonsil and sometimes it may cover whole tonsil and less frequently it may spread to cover the soft and hard palate also. The posterior portion of pharynx in advanced stage. In the early stage the pseudomembrane may be whitish and may wipe off easily but Later the membrane may become thick, bluish white or grey black and it is adherent 
attempt to remove the membrane result in bleeding. Patient with severe disease may have marked edema of submandibular area, ear and anterior portion of the neck along with lymph adenopathy. Distant toxic damage, it may uh, occur in uh, severe cases. It may damage heart muscles, liver, kidney and adrenal, sometimes accompanied by gross hemorrhage. And irregularity in the cardiac rhythm indicate damage to heart. Later, there may be difficulties with vision, speech, swallowing, and even movement of arms and legs. The toxin also causes nerve damage, resulting often in paralysis of the soft palate, eyes, muscles, or extremities. Sometimes, known respiratory diphtheria may affect the mucous membrane of conjunctiva, genitalia, and even skin lesions. The presenting skin lesion is often an ulcer that may be surrounded by erythema and covered with the pseudomembrane. What diagnostic investigations we can do to confirm the diphtheria? The presence of signs and symptoms which are typical, they are suggestive of diphtheria. Still, for confirmation, nasal and oral swab, for bacteriological examination is sent for examination and if bacteria is there, then it confirmation done. Open sore, if the sore is on the skin, then sore swab can be sent for cutaneous diphtheria and if the bacteria is there in the culture then it is confirmed case of diphtheria. What treatment can be done? Antitoxin is helpful to counter the effects of toxin. So antitoxin injection is given and antibiotics are also prescribed to kill the bacteria. Penicillin and erythromycin are drugs of choice. But the main point is how to control the spread of disease and how to prevent. The best control measure for diphtheria are notification of the disease and isolation of the patient for infective period. There is effective vaccination for vaccines against diphtheria that is available in combination with other vaccines like DPT and pentavalent vaccine. And Yes, of course, health education regarding routine immunization is very important in prevention of diphtheria as the vaccine against diphtheria is included in national immunization schedule here in India. Then disinfection is also very important, concurrent disinfection and terminal disinfection. Concurrent in, uh, disinfection for all the articles which are in the contact with the patient and even the articles which are in contact with the discharges of the patient or secretions of the patient. And terminal disinfection is done when the client is discharged from the hospital. Then all the articles should be terminally disinfected. Even the patient's unit should be fumigated. Management of contacts. All close contacts should have culture taken from the nose and throat and be kept under surveillance for 7 days. Uh, a 7 to 10 days course of erythromycin per orally, 40 mg per kg body weight per day for children and 1 gram per day for adults. It is recommended for all the person household exposure to the diphtheria. So dear students, for watching such valuable videos, you can subscribe the channel. My student support system. For latest updates, you can like Facebook page. And for making your notes, visit my blogger mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.